Hello, my name is Lelenia and I'm a product support specialist at Autodesk. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install 3ds Max. This video will show how to install 3ds Max or 3ds Max Design from the DVD onto a single computer. Please note that for information about creating deployments to install 3ds Max or 3ds Max Design onto a large number of workstations, you should refer to the video How to Create a Network Deployment for 3ds Max. This is solution ID TS1419539. Or you can consult the Network Administrator's Guide included with the product. Before we begin, there are a few prerequisites. You'll need to make sure that you have your serial number and product key available. You can find this information on the DVD case or in the email you received when ordering online. On the back of the DVD case, there will be a sticker, such as the one shown here, which will include the serial number and product key highlighted in yellow. The next thing you'll want to check is to make sure that you do have administrative permissions. Administrative permissions are required when installing and licensing 3ds Max or 3ds Max Design. Next, you'll want to check to make sure that your computer meets the system requirements for 3ds Max or 3ds Max Design. Please refer to our website at www.autodesk.com forward slash max hyphen system hyphen requirements and or the installation guide for complete details. You will need to make sure that your computer meets the minimum system requirements for 3ds Max. Otherwise, you may experience problems when trying to run 3ds Max on your computer. You should also be aware that some features of 3ds Max 2010 are only enabled when you use graphics hardware that supports Shader Model 3.0. This is also known as Pixel Shader and Vertex Shader 3.0. Please check with your manufacturer to determine if your hardware supports Shader Model 3. You may also want to consult our list of qualified systems. You can find this on our website at www.autodesk.com forward slash 3ds max hyphen hardware. For information about installing 3ds max on an Apple computer, please read the 3ds max for Mac FAQ at www.autodesk.com forward slash 3ds max hyphen Mac hyphen FAQ. Finally, before we begin the installation, if you have older versions of Backburner installed, you will want to un uninstall the older version of Backburner from the workstation before installing 3ds Max 2010 and Backburner 2008.1.1. You should also make sure that you close other programs. Other programs such as Microsoft Outlook, antivirus programs, and other Autodesk software can cause problems during the 3ds Max or 3ds Max design installation. Please close all other applications and background applications during the installation process to avoid any problems. To begin the installation, insert the 3ds Max or 3ds Max Design install DVD. If Auto Run does not start the installation wizard, navigate to your DVD ROM and click on the setup.exe file to open the installation wizard. In the installation wizard, Click on Install Products. On the Select Products to Install page, the entries that apply to your operating system are automatically selected for installation. If you are using a 32-bit operating system, then only the 32-bit options are selected by default. If you are using a 64-bit operating system, then all of the options, including the 32-bit, are selected. If you have already installed any of the components listed, these items will not be selected for installation. If you do not want to install all of these options, simply uncheck the items you do not want to install. Please note that Autodesk Backburner 2008.1 must be installed with 3ds Max or 3ds Max Design 2010. Once you have made the selections on the Select Products to Install page, click Next to continue. Next, you will want to review the software license agreement. So select your country or region at the top and then review the software license agreement. You'll then want to click I agree to proceed with the installation. On the next page, you'll want to enter your product and user information. 
So this is the serial number and the product key that you collected earlier from your DVD label. You'll also be entering your name and the name of your organization. You will want to double check this information to make sure everything is correct before you continue. Once the product has been installed, you cannot change this information unless you uninstall and reinstall 3ds Max or 3ds Max Design. So take one final look over this and make sure everything is okay before you're hitting next. On the Review Configure Install page, again, you'll want to take a moment and review these settings to make sure everything is set up properly before you continue with the installation. Please note that by default, the installation wizard will install 3ds Max as a standalone license. If you would like to change this to a network license or change any of the other settings here, you'll want to click Configure to modify your configuration. Once you've set this up the way you would like the installation to proceed, you'll just click Install to go ahead and continue with the installation. Once the installation is complete, you will see a list of the products that have been installed and you'll also see a message saying that each of the installations did succeed. Now that the setup is complete, you can just click Finish and that will exit the installation wizard.